Hokie dokie. So I've already worked out these problems by hand in a different video, but I also wanted to provide you with a way to go about it in Excel because it's also very efficient and uh, just you may prefer that method over doing it by hand. So let's jump right into it. All right. So what we want to do is first, because the interval is negative three to three, those are our x values. Those are the only x values we are considering here. So we'll just make a column with only those x values. So from negative three to three is our interval. Now, all we need to do is input this function. And anywhere we see x, we are going to type a1 or click on a1 instead so we hit equals we do a1 raised to the third power divided by 3 and then minus x squared or a1 squared and then minus 3 times a1 and we hit enter this is our y value corresponding to the x value negative 3 so if we click and drag this down because of how we've constructed it or typed it in, it fills in all the other y values for these corresponding x values. Because we're looking for a global maximum on this interval, we're looking for the highest, the max y value on this um, for this column, basically on this column of y values. So the highest y value we see is 1.6 repeating. So that is our maximum. And so we would just try out these options in terms of like finding fractions as decimals so like if we did 10 over 3 no not October 3 let's try equals 10 over 3 and we get 3.3 .3 repeating we know it doesn't match 1.6 repeating so then we can do equals 5 thirds and we get 1.6 repeating so it's 5 thirds that matches our maximum right so let's do one more example real quick we can just change this interval from uh, negative 3 to 3 to negative 2 to 2 and work out this other example we already had going for us here. So negative 2 to 2. We're going to hit equals. We're going to type in this function now. So wherever we see x, in this case, we're going to click on a2. All right. So we have a2 cubed divided by 3 plus 2 times, in parentheses, x squared or a2 squared over 2 minus 2 close parentheses plus 8 over 3 this is this function typed in with a2 in place of x everywhere we see x hopefully all right let's give it a go so hitting enter gives us the y value corresponding to this x value so if we click and drag this it fills out the other y values in this problem they were asking for a global minimum so we're looking for the lowest y value in this column and that is negative 1.3 repeating and so if we try the same thing negative 8 over 3 from our answer choices here we get negative 2.6 repeating so really we want half of that we want negative 4 over 3 because that corresponds to the lowest y value and the lowest y value from x equals negative 2 to 2 is negative 1.3 so that's our global minimum on this interval. All right, just talking in circles, but I'd rather over explain it than not. So I hope this makes sense. Um, have fun working it out in Excel or working it out by hand, whichever you prefer. Again, I have another video that works these same exact problems out by hand. So feel free to check those out. All right.